Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Good morning and praise the Lord. Today is Tuesday, July 23rd, 2024. Today we celebrate Ezekiel the prophet. The prophet Ezekiel, meaning God is strong, was the son of Buzai and a priest by rank. He was taken captive and brought to Babylon during the reign of Jeconias. In the fifth year of this captivity, about 594 or 593 BC, he began to prophesy. Having prophesied for about 28 years, he was murdered, it is said, by the tribe of Gad, because he reproached them for, the, for their idolatry. His book of prophecy, divided into 48 chapters, is ranked third among the greater prophets. It is richly filled with mystical imagery and marvelous prophetic visions and allegories, of which the dread chariot of cherubim, described in the first chapter, is the most famous. In the gate that was shut, through which the Lord alone entered, he darkly foretold of the words incarnation from the virgin, chapter 44, verses 1 through 3, through the, quote, dry bones that came to life again, chapter 37. He prophesied both of the restoration of captive Israel and the general resurrection of our race. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 14, verses 9 through 18. Brethren, to this end, Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So each of us shall give account of himself to God. Then let us no more pass judgment on one another, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. If your brother is being injured by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. Do not let what you eat cause the ruin of one for whom Christ died. So do not let your good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. He who thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. Our Gospel reading this morning is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 14 through 16, and continuing to verses 22 through 30. At that time, the Pharisees took counsel against Jesus how to destroy him. Jesus, aware of this, withdrew from there, and many followed him, and he healed them all and ordered them not to make him known. Then a blind and dumb demoniac was brought to him, and he healed him, so that the dumb man spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Can this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, It is only by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, that this man casts out demons. Knowing their thoughts, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Then indeed he may plunder his house. 
He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, present everywhere and filling all things, Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and save our souls, gracious Lord. The heart itself is but a small vessel, yet dragons are there, and there are also lions, there are poisonous beasts and all the treasures of evil. But there too is God, the angels, the life and the kingdom, the light and the apostles, the heavenly cities and the treasuries of grace. All things are there. That's a quote attributed to Pseudo Macarius. Thank you for listening this morning on the 23rd of July, 2024. My name is James Newcomb, and this is a ministry of Gramer Petrilo, a full service digital publishing company. If you have need of a project that has to do with hitting a button that says publish, we can help you. Look us up on the web at gmptl.org. That's G-M as in Mary, P-T-L dot O-R-G. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. We will close as we do every morning with the Lord's Prayer. Thank you for listening. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.